What's up guys? Today we're playing Atomic Hearts. As usual, it's on the hardest difficulty. And I've been excited to try this game since the trailer came out. So looking quite forward to it. Um, from the trailers, it looks like it's a blend of Bioshock, Prey, um, Dishonored, and quite excited to try it out. So, let's see here. Let's check out the options real quick. So they have DLSS. But no ray tracing. That I see. Shaders are optimized, we're good to go. Uh, so let's start a new game. <laughs> yeah, th this looks a little bit like Fallout. <laughs> hey, peaceful. Mm. I mean, obviously, we're gonna pick the hardest one, but I just want to read all of them. This also reminds me a little bit of um, Bone Labs or Boneworks, if anyone's played that. Um, kind of similar in that regard. Okay, all right, let's let's do this. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? <laughs> We've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Chelome <laughs> City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. So, I think the premise of the game is that uh, Russia wins World War Would you II. care for some more soda, comrade? Mm. Sure, thanks. Yeah, so I was saying Russia wins World like War II, stuck in a tree. but they <laughs> that always cracks me up. Enter a, I guess, scientific revolution. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, this world is quite wow. Busy, what a beautiful day. I like it so far. With your Vovas box, Andre. They're going haywire. What the <laughs> hell did you do to them? <laughs> Only in Russia. Only in Russia would a grandmother walk a pig. Give me your control code. I'll set him straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. 
Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Whoa. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. Hmm. Uh, quick aside, while I play with the settings, I wanted to say, if you have this, uh, being of a STEM background, and we had such technology, I don't know, 30, 20 years ago, that would have been something else. All right, so what I'm looking to do here is just change my FOV and I do not see that option. Uh, can play maybe? No. Maybe. Okay. Should have been here and I don't see it. So I guess I'm stuck with it. Maybe I'll add it later. All right. Comrades, Icarus platform residents, and facility guests. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov is about to begin. Gather in the town square to hear his address. All right, comrades, hey, that bot's actually you. pretty good. See nice too. coordination. Did you just praise a robot? And what's I'm amazed. Here? That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. Oh, you should really see what's going this. On? The car still look old. Step right up. Up. You can become part of collective with a thought device, comrades. The limit. No ocean is too deep now. Well, I think we have one of those in our closet. Give yourself a thought or your good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought? Out. Oh. Now, thanks. I'm just browsing. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuro connector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight, but it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. Hmm. Well, given that I know the technology is about to go haywire, I'm going to go, no. Thanks, I'm good. Ah, well, that's a shame. You should try it. You won't regret it. But have a great day. Hey, you. Experimental glove. 
I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead, since you're so special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you ought to refer to me as Charles, the chatting artificial librarian and educational system. <laughs> I'll call you whatever I feel like, Glove. Another salesman. There are so many of these guys. Like the game really wants you to get this. <laughs> It's pretty good. I'm a lady from the future and you're my soldiers. Man. Yeah, like this. Let's take another one. Any ideas? Yeah. You and Anatoly stand like the worker and the coal host woman. And you? I'll be the cosmonaut, so keep still. Say cheese. Just photobomb these guys. Come on, let's see the picture. Can you show us the Listen up. Oh, no, <laughs> Did you really have to make that face? Let's do it one more time. But this time, okay. make sure the eyes are in the well, Let's just take the picture of the way we are. Say cheese. Get ready for your group photo, comrades. Come on, guys. Don't be shy. There's room. Come on. Uh, can we get the atom in the picture, and the too? And statue, as well. Whoa. Uh, everything up to there should be in the picture. It'll look great. Here's an idea. I'm a lady from the future, and you're my soldiers. Ma'am. Yeah, like this. Say cheese. Let's take another one. Any ideas? Yeah. Oh, I think it's just repeating. And you? I'll be the cosmonaut, so keep still. Say cheese. Can I move now? Come on, let's see the picture. Come on, come on. Let's Can see if I show up. Uh, I think I blinked. Let's see. Ah, uh, game uh, devs. Did you really have to make that? Wasted opportunity. But this time, make sure the atom's in the picture. All right, doesn't matter. Controlling robots with the power of thought is nice, but if it's a machine, I need to know where it's off switch is. Yeah, you do. I can never eat ice cream that fast. <laughs> wow. No, thank you. And visitors to Chelame City, Dr. Sechenov's address will begin in 10 minutes. It's amazing. What do you do for work? Comrades, assemble near the ground plate memorial for a tour. Learn about the history of Facility 3826. Hear about its great discoveries and pay your respects to all the victims of war. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And... I hear it's nice there. In 
That robot is known as a Belyash. Come on. Like a fried dopo? When all the planets of the solar system all have artificial atmospheres, we will reach the most distant star. Step right up, comrades. We are taking our first visualized model on this historic journey. A place we can rightfully call our home. Get yourself a thought, or your life will come to naught. Slow down, son. Slow down. Uh, okay. Major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Crispy critters, man. Fuck. Watch your language, Major. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. I say this is a historic spot. A nation should know its past. Mm. So, in an alternate history, internet was unlaunched by connecting computers. Or rather it was, but now they're planning to integrate humans with the network. Interesting, okay. Uh, okay. Cool. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. 
Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> All right. Left alt. Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Let's see. Huh, looks like legit code. Robots coding robots. Truly the future. Subjects with breathtaking speed, accessing all human knowledge, and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment, and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize 
literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your personal thought device is made possible via a tiny injection of neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization, where you will also receive your thought device in five minutes. In just five minutes, you'll become the future. Comrade, as a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your compatriots and undergo polymerization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. Learn how to control robots with your own mind and explore space. Reach the pinnacle of evolution. The global launch of Collective 2.0, our marvelous network, will be on the 13th day of the month of June, 1955. Only two days away. Get your thought device today and become homo futura among the first. You know, what's your interesting is, is that yours. he himself is not wearing a thought device. Which goes to show that, you know, it's not all sunshines and daisies. And, um, obviously the implications for such a technology would mean, especially in a country like Soviet Union, would mean that they can control you while you can control robots. I think these are all the, the Soviet states before the collapse of the Soviet Union. So glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. It's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, natürlich. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. And how long is this elevator ride? <laughs> no wonder they put cherries. has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot survive. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Hmm. Ballerina dancers. We'll say That's enough here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. 
I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Oh. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective okay. 2.0 yeah, with I parades just came from in every I get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? That's more like it. So as I was saying, I heard that the music in this game was um, made by Mick Gordon and the likes. Um, and they're pretty good composers in general, so... Quite excited for that. And this scene looks like the beginning of Prey when you fly around in the helicopter. But clearly the devs took a lot of inspiration. Your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just <laughs> say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? This man's flying asking the pigs. real questions. Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the Condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Their relationship is like Master Chief and Cortana, <laughs> but very antagonistic.
There we go. This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Mukhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Trophus initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about your it? Your safety. Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate of the Ravenhoff Principal Frank Facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take no. us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit?
Well, that's the intro. So far, so good. I will make an observation. I don't think that the female robots are connected to the collective because they didn't. She didn't. She wasn't corrupted. So, let's see. take long for this to turn into a hellish landscape. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you alright, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective's central hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Section off out. Okay, I'm assuming this is a special attack. Just changing up the controls. I prefer E to interact, so. <sighs> Let's see. E is an ability. QB. Uh, is there another? Yeah. Okay. I'll make this F. Um, make this E. Cool. Shit. Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. 
Get me out of here! Hey, you. So I'm coming. Bad. You alive in there? Help! Somebody help me! Ah, uh, 50-50s outside. Help me! Outside. I knew it. Shit! Uh, get away from me! Wow, robots tricking people to their deaths? Uh, go fuck yourself! Get the fuck off me! What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. I Thanks for the help, Sam. grandmother that was walking the pig. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? What happened to the axe? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Oh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! No good! Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot! Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. Him. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, some big body. I'm assuming the granny's dead. Damn clusterfuck. Hey, buddy, what you did to your leg? Non to fight. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? 
How'd they track him down anyway? The Trov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. A shotgun. Cool. We're gonna save ammo for now. I don't know how this guy is frozen. He should be completely limp. Kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially good. Well, at this rate, I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. Oh, that's convenient. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalokov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and... You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh, but we aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade... Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not? Listen here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later. And somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? <clears throat> Go ahead. That's what I thought. Dismissed.
Okay. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Whoa, okay. is a little challenging. Is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at Facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. I think those are shotgun shells, but... I won't be able to get them. Wow. Of course.
Yeah, they, the, I think the game does really need to add FOV slider because on an ultra wide, it's not ideal. Of course. dangerous to keep leaving messages like this. This is the last one. Get ready. I'm getting my paperwork together, and then I'll be right behind you. We're going to get out of this nightmare. Yours always, L. I, to my shame and chagrin, have seen humanity at its absolute worst. I speak not only of our errant and misguided neighbors to the West, or the ravages of capitalism, but also of our own fellow citizens. But I knew all. I tend to go where I'm not supposed to. Just to see if there are any secrets. I know there's another linear game. So you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. That's why it pays to explore. Everything locked here. Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lock. Something's wrong. Oh shit! I'm gonna call this thing. Hmm, really? For a <laughs> Let's see. Are we awake? Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Ooh. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps. I'm on it. Get me them. What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neural I'm polymer. Collapsed. You don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. 
great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! Well, that's a little five minutes of Freddy. Holy shit! Avoid the beam! shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. And that's why we save our ammo. Alright. That way. Hmm. Not too many. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. Isn't that it? I have to do all of them? Oh my god. Yikes. Okay, let's try this again. It worked! <laughs> side of the door. That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Sensor manipulator, quick! How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer! I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything for my master? What can I do for you? More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Can we get anything else? That is very foul outy. Alright. Oh, 
How can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. Got a sword? A massive sword? Thrust it deep into my socket so I can make it sturdier and sharper. Nora nice. can upgrade weapons and equipment, as well as manufacture new items from blueprints. To do this, Provide the repair vendor with the resources you will undoubtedly find as you rummage through the entire area. You can fill me with whatever you want, big guy. <laughs> Insert your... But I can do so much more! A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out, then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. <laughs> hey, um... Let's do Arsenal. I want to upgrade the shotgun if I can. Actually, no. So these are all the other weapons here. Um, looking for similar ones, like if there's an upgraded shotgun. And I do not see it. So if this is the only shotgun in the game, might as well upgrade it. Okay. Cool. Shotgun. Where's the recipe? Oh, recoil is fine, so in the grumpy. Uh, almost a cartridge slot. Don't know what that means, but let's get her. I don't have enough. Okay, cool. Basically, cannot upgrade anything else. Alright, let's move out of here. Don't disassemble this. Okay, uh, one more thing. Let's check the glove. Can we buy this? Cool. 
thing. Saving data. All right, so this uh, brings us to the end of part one of Atomic Hearts. I really enjoyed the game, and I will continue playing this. Um, see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.